Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well today. In this video, we're going to talk about percents. Now, if you weren't aware of this already, the word percents really comes from two different words, per and cent. While per just means out of, cent represents 100. Think about how the word century represents 100 years and that there are 100 cents in a dollar. Simply put, the word percent just means a ratio per 100. Here are a few basic percentages. 25% is really a ratio of 25 per 100. 50% is really just a ratio of 50 for every 100. 75% is a ratio of 75 per 100. And 100% is a ratio of 100 per 100. Remember that when we're working with ratios, they can be simplified just like fractions and we can use their GCF to do so. For 25 over 100, we can divide them both by 25 and get a simplified ratio of one to four. For 50 to 100, we can divide them both by 50 to get a ratio of 1 to 2. For 75 to 100, we can divide them both by 25 to get a simplified ratio of 3 to 4. And for 100 to 100, we get a ratio of 1 to 1, or just one whole. Let's talk about turning some ratios that are in fraction form to now decimal form and percent form. When we have the ratio of 4 to 5, or the fraction of 4 to 5, we can just use long division to convert it to a decimal. 4 to 5, or 4 divided by 5, is really just 0.8 as a decimal. When we see 0.8, we can technically read it as 8 tenths, so it's a ratio over 10. To get it to a percent though, we need it to be per 100. Multiplying 10 on top and bottom, we get a ratio of 80 to 100, which represents a ratio of 80%. 80 out of 100, or 80%, is the percent form of 0.8, or 4 fifths. And a little shortcut you can use to turn any decimal into a percent is slide the decimal twice to the right and put the percent sign on. Now let's try the ratio or fraction 3 to 4. Dividing 3 by 4, we find out that that's equal to 0.75, and that's going to be the decimal version. If we read this decimal properly, instead of saying 0.75, we can say 75 hundredths, and that's actually going to be the percentage because it's per 100. 0.75 is equivalent to 75%. Now let's look at the fraction 7 eighths. 7 eighths is really 7 divided by 8, and if we complete the long division, we find out that this is going to equal 0.875. Instead of reading this as 0.875, more properly we can read it as 875 thousandths based on its place value. If you can read it properly, writing it as a fraction is no problem. While we currently have a ratio of per 1000, we can divide top and bottom by 10 to get a new ratio of 87.5 per 100. That just means 87.5% since percent just means per 100. While we can write a decimal in a percent, keep in mind that we will never write a percentage sign in a decimal. Let's look at one more ratio or fraction of 1 to 6. Fractions and ratios really just represent a quotient, so 1 over 6 really means 1 divided by 6, and if we do this long division, you're going to notice that this is going to repeat forever. Once you see the remainder repeat here, like this 4, we know that we're going to have a repeating decimal. Because we found out that the 6 goes into 40 6 times, we're going to see the 6 repeat forever. To represent this, we can just draw a line over the 6, or we call this a bar over the 6, to show that this repeats forever. 1 sixth is equal to 0.16 repeater. Just keeping the first 6, we can write this as a ratio of 1 sixth repeater per 100. And since percents are per 100, we can write this as 16.6 repeater percent. Just keep in mind that while we can't have a whole number repeat forever, we can have a decimal repeat. Using the shortcut, remember that you can multiply any decimal by 100 or move the decimal twice to the right to get a percent. Sliding the decimal twice to the right for 0.75 gets you 75%. Twice to the right for 0.875 is 87.5%, and 0.16 repeater becomes 16.6 repeater percent. Don't forget that to turn a decimal into a percent, you can just really slide the decimal twice to the right and draw the percent sign, and you'll get a percent as well. Now let's start with some ratios in decimal form and convert them into fractions and percentages. Let's look at this first decimal of 0.28. Reading it properly, this is technically 28 hundredths, so that gives us a fraction right away. Dividing top and bottom by the GCF of 28 and 100, which is 4, we get a simplified fraction of 7 to 25, or 7 25ths. If you read your decimal correctly, it's technically already per 100, so this is just going to be 28%. Sliding the decimal twice to the right, you would have also gotten this. Looking at this decimal of 0 0.9, reading it properly, it's going to be 9 tenths, and since it can't be simplified, we can just write it as a fraction. However, to get it as a percent, we need it to be per 100. Multiplying top and bottom by 10, we're going to get 90 per 100, which is 
Using the shortcut, we could have also just slided the decimal twice to the right, and we would have also found out that's 90%. Looking at this decimal of 1.4, we can read this as 1 and 4 tenths, and we can divide top and bottom by 2, and we're going to get 1 and 2 fifths. However, to get it to be a percent, we need it to be per 100, so multiplying top and bottom by 10, we get 1 and 40 one hundredths. The one whole just represents 100%, and the 40 per 100 represents 40%, so together, this is just 140%. Our shortcut checks out here as well. Let's look at a pretty small decimal like 0.045. Reading this properly, this is 45 one thousandths, and since this is a fraction, we can just divide top and bottom by their GCF of 5, and find out that more simplified, this is 9 over 200. In fraction form, this ratio is 9 to 200. Now to get this to be a percent, we need it to be per 100 instead of per 1000, and dividing top and bottom by 10, this will be 4.5 per 100. This is just 4.5%. And finally, let's work on turning these ratios from percent form into decimal and fraction form. When we have 65%, you want to think about this as being per 100, so we can write it as 65 per 100, or 65 over 100. If you read this fraction as 65 hundredths, then you can write it as a decimal quite easily as literally 65 hundredths. And to get from a percent to a decimal, the shortcut is just to slide the decimal twice to the left and get rid of the percent sign. Now while we already had a fraction of per 100, we should always try to simplify the fraction and dividing by their GCF of 5 on top and bottom, we actually get a simplified fraction ratio of 13 to 20. Now let's check out 2%. 2% 2 just really means 2 per 100, or we can read this as 2 hundredths, and we can write that as literally 2 hundredths, or 0 0.02. While we already have the fraction of 2 over 100, we can simplify it by dividing top and bottom by their GCF, and we get 1 to 50. This is the fraction form. Now looking at a pretty big percent, like 225%, this is going to be 225 per 100. And writing this as a mixed number, we can say that this is 2 and 25 one hundredths. Reading this fraction properly as 2 and 25 hundredths, we can then write it easily as a decimal as 2.25, or 2 and 25 hundredths. Given that we already have it in fraction form, we just have to simplify it by using their GCF, and this is just 2 and 1 fourth. And finally, let's look at a percent that has a decimal in it, like 12.5%. 12.5% is 12.5 per 100, so we can write it as a fraction. Since having a decimal and a fraction is a little weird, we can multiply both top and bottom by 10 to get 125 per 1,000. If you read it as 125 thousandths, then the decimal is just 125 thousandths. We already have a fraction of 125 over 1,000, and dividing both top and bottom by their GCF of 125, we get a simplified fraction of 1 to 8. And just keep in mind that as a shortcut to turn percentages into decimals, you can really just slide the decimal twice to the left and drop the percentage sign and you'll always get a decimal that way as well. And there you have a few different examples of turning ratios from fraction form to decimal percent form, decimal form to fraction and percent form, and percent form to fraction and decimal form. It's really important that you have a solid foundation and understanding that fractions, decimals, and percents are really just three different ways of showing ratios. As you continue experiencing life, you're going to see fractions, decimals, and percents all around you that compare different quantities. Understanding how to compare numbers and use them to your advantage will help you be more successful in life. I hope you found this video 100% helpful in understanding percents on a deeper level. As always, keep up the great work, and I'll see you in the next one.